this card holder was almost a great purchase. Slim, but not very affordable. But I love the fact that I could take it everywhere, sits comfortably in my pocket, which a lot of my older wallets did not do. A slim card holder has been a great pickup and part of my everyday carry. So it's safe to say that this is one of the items that I can't live without. And I have plenty more purchases that I wish I made sooner. But first, let's keep talking about this card holder. So yes, this price tag is ridiculous and I definitely do not recommend buying this. However, card holders in general, I do recommend buying. Now, if you're wondering why I don't recommend this specific one, it's because for this one, you're paying for the logo. And I think a lot of times when you're buying something like this, you're really only falling for the hype, which is exactly what I did. But there are plenty of other card holders that do the same exact thing. Hold your cards. I really like the ones from Alexander McQueen, Mont Blanc, coach more specifically one that i really enjoy is the one from apple now granted mine is absolutely falling apart and i definitely need to buy another one but having this card holder or just card holders in general have been so helpful for me because me personally I don't really like wallets. Most of them are just way too bulky. And for somebody that doesn't really carry cash, card holder is a better option. All right, this next one retails at $400. So I was very skeptical to pick this one up, but I've been wanting a pair of headphones for the longest now. And it was either these Apple AirPod Maxes or the Bose headphones. And I'm very happy that I went with the one that I have after looking at a bunch of different reviews, a bunch of different videos on TikTok, Instagram. Everybody said that they prefer the Sony XM5s. And so that's exactly what I went with. And so now these headphones have gone with me everywhere, the gym, the airport, or even at a local coffee shop. This is one of the best purchases I've made in the last six months. And I'm very happy happy that I bought these. I'm very happy that I got them in the color black because they go with anything like most of my other accessories. Everything's in the color black. The noise cancellation on this one is great. And before I had these, the thing that I use the most were AirPod Pros. Now don't get me wrong, I love these. I love the fact that they are very portable, but my biggest issue with these is the battery life. They die on me very quickly. So I decided the best way to fix that is to buy some new headphones. Granted, probably not the most responsible option, but like I said, very happy with this purchase. So for me, colognes have changed so many things. I love being told that I smell good and because of the colognes I own, I get that quite often. Now with colognes, there's really two routes you can go with. You can get one fragrance and think of it as your signature fragrance. Or the other route, which is pretty much what I went through, is getting a bunch of different colognes for a bunch of different occasions. Different seasons, daytime, nighttime, hanging out with friends, day night. Like I said, different occasion. And at this point, I pretty much have a cologne for any occasion. Some occasions, I even have options. Now that's just because when I got into colognes, I went head over heels with these. And so like many of my other purchases, I did the most irrational, most irresponsible thing and didn't think twice before I swiped that debit card. Now I have quite a bit of colognes and I'm honestly very scared to count it. And I'm even more scared to look at my account. I pushed all my worries to the side and I am still very happy that I have the colognes that I have. Now some colognes I regret buying. However, some other colognes, I can't tell you how happy I am with these purchases. Because when it comes to designer clones, you are gonna be smelling like a lot of guys out there. However, the majority of guys have never even smelled colognes from Parfums de Marly or other brands like that. However, truth be told, I can't say that I'm not thinking about buying it very soon. Now granted, colognes don't have to be very expensive. There are plenty of affordable options out there. So I personally see nothing wrong with having one pair of jeans that you wear almost daily. Now I have to be very specific about almost. If it's versatile, slim, and comfortable, then why can't you wear it daily? So for me, that is gonna be a pair of slim black jeans. Again, black goes with pretty much any color you want. It's gonna go with the majority of shoes that you have, no matter the silhouette, bulky, slim, or even things like boots. These are always gonna be a great option, but whatever fits your style, you should have at least one pair of jeans that you will gravitate pretty much every single day. I really don't see anything wrong with having a pair of pants that you could wear with anything in your wardrobe. What I'm about to tell you always gives me the most mixed reactions. Either people agree with me, or people think I'm gross for this, but I rarely wash my pants. Now, when it comes to shirts, if you're sweating in them, they could build up odor and bacteria, and therefore, yes, you should definitely wash your shirts when needed. And granted, when needed comes a lot faster than it does with pants. Think about it. When are you really sweating profusely from the bottom half? And if you are, your underwear is pretty much catching most of it. I know that is a very gross topic to talk about, but it's something that I think needs to be said. And therefore, I really only wash my jeans when I feel like I really need to. Look at the CEO of Levi's. He's one of the people that agrees with me. Or granted, I probably agree with him. He's definitely a lot older than I am, but he said that he also rarely washes his jeans. And why shouldn't you? So at this point, it's pretty safe to say that I love leather accessories. And of course, most of my leather accessories are gonna be the color black. And again, it's just because it goes with anything 
Most people don't realize it, but your accessories are part of your outfit. When people think about accessories in fashion, they think of sunglasses, things that you're actually wearing, but stuff like backpacks or any other accessories you even keep in your pocket, this is a part of your outfit. And so just like any other accessory, I like it slim and I like it minimal. A black leather backpack fits into all of those. So the one that I have is from Coach. It's been holding up perfectly for the last two years now. And I think Coach Factory is a great place to pick up quality leather accessories. Now, granted, this is gonna be a lot more expensive than your transport backpacks or anything else, but if you take care of it properly, this backpack will hold up for years because it's already done for me. At times I was looking to upgrade my backpack, but I figured at that point, I'm not really upgrading. I'm just kind of swapping out the design or logo of the brand. And therefore I never really pulled the trigger on places like Louis Vuitton, but maybe I might switch it up to get something outside of the color black. But for the time being, I am so happy I bought this leather backpack. So truth be told, as annoying as it may be, I am pretty notorious for always asking for the charger. And I always forget to charge my phone. So did I have the smaller iPhone and the bigger iPhones definitely held a better battery life. Instead of spending $1,600 on a new phone, what I did instead was buy a portable charger, carrying a portable charger with an extra cable. It's just very annoying. And therefore I never decided to go forward and buy one of those. But once I saw that Apple came out with a wireless portable charger, I knew I had to get my hands on it. That was until I saw the price. And then I started looking at more affordable options and this Anchor one is perfect. All right, so this one I've been talking about a little bit here and there. Now that it's been about six months since I initially picked this up, I can confidently say I cannot live with this purchase. I have recommended this to so many of my friends and now they agree with me. Having a whoop to track your sleep recovery and not only track everything, but to give you a coach to tell you how much recovery you need, the appropriate time to go to sleep to get that recovery or how much exercise you should be going throughout the day to not only stay healthy, but to do so in a very functional way. And having that whoop has definitely helped me with that. Now, I used to have it around my wrist, but I spent the extra 60 bucks, which is a little bit pricey, but I'm very glad that I did. I spent that on an armband and now I never really take this off. Pro tip, wash it. For some reason I decided to smell it. Let me tell you, it smelled awful. And that's because I kept forgetting to wash underneath it. So ever since then, I've learned my lesson, wash underneath your whoop. Thin rescue wipes I bought for very cheap on Amazon and it's something that I carry with me and I never really have to worry about a stain staying there and not being able to wash it out because the majority of times I don't even have to get to the point to worry about it because these wipes just completely remove it and it saves you the headache of trying to get rid of them in the washer. So picking these up has definitely been an A1 purchase. Now, I never really understood the purpose of having a travel water bottle, but let me tell you, once I started to really realize how many empty water bottles I kept in my car and then in my room and then in my backpack, I figured something has to change. And so I went on Amazon, looked for a cool water bottle. None of them were cool. And then I came across this one. And I was very excited when it came in the mail just to find out this one is tiny. 350 milliliters sounds like a lot more than it actually is. However, I'm too lazy to return it, yet I am very happy that I picked this one up. Granted, I do wish it was a little bit bigger, but for the time being, I love this one. It's definitely saved me a lot of empty water bottles laying around. But another item that I really can't live without is gonna be a good pair of shoes. Now, if you wanna see a video about me spending $1,000 on shoes, I'll leave that right here for you. Other than that, I'll see you in the next one. Later.